Today we will share a case about repairing the Face ID of iPhone 11 Pro Max. Go to Settings, Face ID and Passcode and set up Face ID. When trying to set up Face ID, Move iPhone a little lower or higher pops up. Face ID cannot be normally set up. It can be judged that the dot projector of the Face ID has malfunctioned. Remove the display. Then detach the Face ID module. We can see a red mark, which indicates that the phone has water damage. Connect the dot projector flex cable with the I2C repair programmer. The test shows that the dot projector flex cable has malfunctioned. Press read. Read the data from the dot projector flex cable. Connect a new I2C iPhone 11 Pro Max flex cable to the programmer. Press write. Write the data that has been read on the new flex cable. Next, we remove the dot projector module. To prevent the crystal from becoming loose and then affecting the positioning, we need to fix the crystal with UV adhesive. Solidify it with UV lamp. Remove the foam on the back of the dot projector. To make positioning easier while assembly, mark the module with sculpture knife. Since the dot projector flex cable is under the metal plate, lift the metal plate to remove the flex cable. Get the holding fixture. We use Wextum Face ID module and dot projector board holding fixture for the repair. Attach the Face ID module to the holding fixture. Grind the welding position of the metal plate. Insert the pry knife into the gap between the dot projector module and the crystal. Heat with hot air gun at 150 degrees Celsius. Pry up the dot projector module. Remove the dot projector flex cable. Heat with hot air gun at 320 degrees Celsius. Remove the dot projector module. Attach the dot projector module to the holding fixture. Heat with hot air gun at 320 degrees Celsius. Remove the MOSFET. Apply a small amount of solder paste to the bonding pad with soldering iron at 365 degrees Celsius. Jump wire between pin 2 and pin 3 of the MOSFET with 0.02 mm copper wire. Attach the dot projector module to the holder. To clean the tin on the dot projector module, smear rosin with soldering iron at 365 degrees Celsius and solder wick. Clean the module with PCB cleaner afterward. Heat with hot air gun at 240 degrees Celsius. Remove residual adhesive with tweezers.
Get the new flex cable. Put the reballing stencil in the right position. Apply some medium temperature solder paste evenly. Heat with hot air gun at 320 degrees Celsius. Remove the reballing stencil after the flex cable has cooled. Heat with hot air gun at 320 degrees Celsius again. Apply a small amount of paste flux to the flex cable. Fix the flex cable to the holder. Align the dot projector module. Solder with hot air gun at 320 degrees Celsius. Connect the flex cable that has been soldered to the I2C programmer. Press test. The screen shows pass which indicates that the flex cable is normal. Attach the flex cable to the holding fixture. Put the dot projector flex cable in position. Apply a small amount of 460 adhesive between the dot projector module and the crystal. Once the adhesive has set, arrange the flex cable. Install the flex cable on the phone. Connect the screen and battery. Boot up the phone, and go to Face ID settings. Face ID is set up normally. Face ID unlocks normally. The fault is clear. Rayway is now offering third-party repair service. If you have devices that you can't repair, please feel free to send them to Rewa. Raywell Lab will help you with the repair. Our third-party repair service currently comprises iPhone motherboard, back camera, touch and face ID iPad motherboard, back camera, touch, face ID MacBook motherboard, EFI and PIN code unlock Data recovery of iPhone, iPad, and MacBook Please don't hesitate to leave a comment if you are looking for third-party repair service. We will contact you shortly. Thanks for watching.